Coronavirus cases in North Carolina keep climbing. Today, the state reported nearly 2,000 new cases and 14 new deaths. That brings the number of cases statewide to more than 314,000 since the pandemic began. More than 4,800 people have died. Now, those high numbers are impacting one school division. Dare County Public Schools is returning to virtual learning. This comes shortly after some students went back for in-person learning last month. And since then, the division has had more than a dozen coronavirus cases in its schools. Megan Shen spoke with parents and students about the change of plans. It's just not worth the chances that even one kid could get critically ill. During an emergency school board meeting, Dare County Public Schools board members voted to send all pre-K through 12th grade students back home to online learning. This comes after the division had 16 positive coronavirus cases and 426 people had direct contact with them. Michelle Youngstone worried about her son and staff in Dare County Public Schools getting sick. It's hard, and I just really feel bad for the teachers. And I think this is much safer for them. School officials say so many educators got COVID-19, some teachers' assistants were teaching because the school division didn't have enough substitutes. We didn't have the teachers to keep doing like both virtual and in person. Because of it, Youngstone's son, Christopher, says he had four English teachers in the past three weeks. Overall, our teachers were getting work to death so that it was negative for both people who went back to school who had less quality of education and people who stayed home basically had no teeth at all. Parent Helen Furr has twin daughters in Dare County Public Schools. She says the school division is backtracking to virtual learning now, but she doesn't think they'll be the only school division to return to virtual learning again this year. I know many schools have tried and many are going back to remote, and all you can do is wish everyone the best. Megan Shin, 13 News Now. NC State is also stepping up coronavirus safety measures. Students, faculty and staff must provide a negative coronavirus test before returning to campus this spring. You may remember a major outbreak forced the school to move classes online over the fall semester. Those returning to campus must get tested three to five days before the spring semester starts. Anyone who refuses could face disciplinary action.